Good morning, and just felt compelled this morning to read Psalms 27 to you. And it reads as thus, The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, from whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war shall rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then Lord will take then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over into the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be unto God. Father, we thank you for your logos, your written word that you have so graciously left to guide and direct us as we walk throughout this earth. God, we pray that even as we read the words and they settle in our spirit, our minds, and our soul, that we would walk them out so that we can experience your glory in a greater magnitude. We thank you because we believe in your word and we say that it is true, it is right, and it directs us, it guides us, it leads us. It is a lamp unto our feet, and for that we are grateful today. So we seal this word as it was read this morning, and we declare and decree that this word has fallen on good soil and good ground and it shall accomplish that which you designed for it to accomplish in our lives today we stand on this word trusting you and thanking you for everything for truly you are our light today and we love you in jesus name amen